Okay, back looking at the Yaesu FT65, and I want to show you how to access the dual display menu, something you're not going to find unless you look at the advanced menu. All right, so we're looking here at the standard um, display. I'm uh, in a memory mode here, but of course if you tap on the VM, the recall button there, or the, so the function button here at the bottom, you get into the VFO normal mode there and this is a, what it looks like when you uh, purchase the radio you get a single line there describing either the frequency or the name that you've chosen for a memory and of course some of the other indicators on the side there uh, which uh, space in the memory banks and which PL tone or CTCSS tone you've chosen whether you're getting a positive offset or a negative, depending on which part of the band you're looking at. Uh, but there's something really cool that you need to know, and you can only find it if you go on Yaesu's website, go to the product page for this particular radio, and download the advanced menu. And the description in the menu doesn't really tell you what's super, super cool about this. Now, in order to do this, you have to, to turn the radio off, and then um, you we'll need to um, hold down the push to talk and the open squelch button, which is the middle one on this radio. So we're gonna try to do that here. It's a little tricky. And then you turn the radio on. Okay, so when you let go of the buttons, you get to, the, to this, um, quote, hidden menu. And you'll see there's a bunch of options here um clone you know you can reset various aspects of the radio um all kinds of stuff in here uh, and the one we're going to talk about today is item number f8 dual display and we're going to go ahead and tap the uh, function key on the side here you can see right there and that causes the radio to reboot and now we're in dual display mode and you notice things look different right away, which I'm what I'm really, really enjoying about this is now along with the channel uh, name that I've chosen, the frequency is displayed below. And that's been a problem for me in the past because in the normal mode, it might say W0BU, but it doesn't tell me which frequency that is. So I either have to remember what that is or you tap the band key down here at the bottom and you will get a um, secondary display pop-up that shows you the frequency. Now the main purpose of this is not, I don't believe, to display the information like it is here. When you read the manual, it doesn't appear to be that way. Uh, what you're supposed to do is in VFO mode, this would be another way to try to talk to a satellite, I believe. So you have on the left there, A and B channels. And if you tap the V, M button, it'll switch so you can adjust the B channel frequency. And then you have to double tap the V, M button in order to switch back to A. If I just tap it once, when the B channel is active, it then brings me back to memory mode. So that can be a little confusing when you try to mess with this. Like, okay, I wanna switch between A and B, but then you just have to remember to tap that twice in order to get your A back up. And of course you'd be doing this to adjust the frequency to account for Doppler. Now the manual says that A is the receive uh, for in this in particular configuration. I have not had a chance to, to test this or anything like that. I'm just kind of giving you a preview of what the main functionality is supposed to be. That'll be some future project for me. Dual display is super cool. Now let's suppose you want to turn that off. You know, if you cycle the radio off and then turn it back on, it remembers that you're in dual display. So we're going to go ahead and turn it off and we're going to go through the procedure we did before. Let's see if I can pull this off here. We're going to be holding down the buttons and turning it back on. And you got to remember to let go. Um, 
the option that we accessed last is dual display. So it's there on top. And I found that if you just tap it again, if you just select that item again, the F8 dual display, your radio reboots and you're back in your standard display. So the manual doesn't actually tell you how to exit that mode. So I had to fiddle around a little bit though. I mean, it's very straightforward, but hopefully that helps you and gives you something new and interesting to check out on this little Yaesu FT65. And I hope you'll join me again for another video.